What's going on guys? It's your boy Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, thank you to everyone who wished me uh, a speedy recovery. We have Eternal, a KM, 1A Hunter Slingshock, and Axe King, uh, 0 Meteor <clears throat> Variable. Uh, I'm going to give a quick disclaimer. This is the second time I'm doing this match. The first time um, I was sicker than a dog. I should not have recorded it. Um, and the video would have been absolutely awful, but I can, uh, confidently say that the, uh, outcome of the match will not change from the first time. I do not mean that to sound offensive in any way. I love both of these bays. These are actually two of my favorite bays in the tournament, uh, for appearance wise, but, uh, burst resistancy is not with, uh, Axe King. And Eternal Akeem, I need to make a real quick announcement for. I want to take it apart, but I friggin' can't. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Here you can see the final layer of the print, and you'll notice that there's a slight drop in it right there. It was the last layer over the entire Beyblade, and my printer ran out of filament with maybe 30 seconds of printing left to do, so you got very lucky. First to seven wins, bursts are worth two, everything else is worth one. Holy crap, Axe King kicked it into high gear. Eternal Achaeum has a lot of attack power. It is very thick. It's one of my favorite bays in this tournament. I like it. Axe King takes the first point. It almost burst. Oh my god! Okay, first of all... My special rules just came into play. You'll notice he hit the wall outside of the stadium. On my channel, you can hit anything as long as it's not my carpet. You are still in. One to one. How did it not burst? <clears throat> I apologize, guys. I am still sick and sound like crap, so... Excuse me. Two to one. <clears throat> Axe King does have slightly better stamina. I don't know what that is supposed to be, but I love it. <clears throat> Eternal Akeem loves using the rails. He is very fast. With a proper tornado ridge, he would be an absolute monster of a ridge runner. He's going to get that one with stamina. Two to two. He also does have the weight advantage. Axe King is kind of spread thin as far as its weight goes. But very beautiful day. Oh no, Eternal Hakeem just can't land a shot this time. Score is still two to two. Three to two. Axe King takes it. Uh, two, uh, three to four. Ha! You guys don't get to play the joke this time. Akeem definitely has the burst resistancy to go all the way in this tournament. Three to four. Still anyone's match. Still relatively close to how it played out the first time. Four, five, that's six to two. Sorry, six to three. I will say, I had to do this for both for two battles, and both of them, it's looked a lot better for both people. <laughs> Their loss was much less embarrassing. The first time, it was like seven to zero for both of them. <laughs> I think Axe King still did get one or two points. <clears throat> Six to four. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I 
And that's all she wrote. Axe King honestly feels like it's gotten weaker uh, every match. But it's weird, because it still doesn't burst that easy. Because um, Akeem actually has a fair bit of weight to it. I mean, he doesn't use very heavy parts, but there's a lot of plastic in its layer. So it's got some real good wonkalization power. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, Eternal Akeem. Nice job. Axe King, you did well. I have a chance at redemption. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, hope this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.